I just got back from Walmart. Let's see what I got. I got this through the, uh, I saw it on a crazy coupon lady. It only cost me $22. And by the way, I prefer to pick things up at Walmart. It, the shipping is free if it's over 35 This is 22 But it's free if you pick it up at the store. But guess what? Even if it was over 35 I'll still pick it up. Here it is. Wow, this is heavy. Nice and durable. By the way, it's Ozark Trail. So here's the 12 inch. And here's the 8. Still kind of heavy. And a 10 inch. Now the reason why I got these, well besides the price, I mean can you beat that? Is I'm sick and tired of constantly, every few months, getting a new Teflon pan. Uh, reason I've avoided cast iron pans because to me, in my mind, I don't know why I'm thinking about this 19th century technology. However, if you season it properly, it, you can make it non-stick. Now, it, the thing here says it's already pre-seasoned. Uh-uh. You got to season it yourself. So I'm going to season it. Probably I'm going to season it four times over tonight, and tomorrow morning. I'm going to test it out with a couple of eggs and see how it go goes. But this this is like a lifetime thing. You just keep it and you know take care of it, and it'll take care of you. Because I really don't want. I'm getting sick and tired of just paying for these, uh, uh, you know, the silicon. Also, another good reason. Cast iron holds the heat a lot better. It's much much better for heavy duty frying, like for fried chicken. So that's something, a project I want to do in the future. So anyway, here goes. I'm going to, uh, in just a moment, I'm going to start seasoning it. I'm seasoning, for now, just the big one, the 12-inch one. And all you got to do, just add a wee bit, uh, not too much, and just take a paper towel, you see, and you just rub it around nicely. And by the way, right now my oven is heating up to 425 degrees. What I'm going to do to season it, I'm going to leave it in the oven for about an hour. And I'm going to repeat that process tonight about three times. Then tomorrow morning, I'm going to uh, test out, see how good this is, see how easily I can fry an egg. That's the big thing. Hopefully it will be pretty much like non-stick, because to tell you the truth, I'm really sick and tired of uh, Teflon pan. So here, you don't want it too thick, just a nice, and then maybe a little bit on the outside while this is heating up. And uh, if this works out good, I'm going to repeat the same process with the two smaller pans tomorrow. So hopefully, goodbye Teflon, hello cast iron world. It's the next morning, and here's what the cast iron look like yesterday. This is the small one. I haven't uh, seasoned it yet. So you see how that looks? Now, here's the big one here. The 12 inch seasoned. Look at that. Nice and shiny. Look at that. It feels like it's going to work, but we're going to test it out. This has been seasoned. But by the way, when, I, when you put it in the oven, be sure you put it upside down and on a rack below it, put uh, some aluminum foil because uh, in case any of the uh, oil drips off. The reason why you want to put it upside down is so it doesn't pool in there when you uh, when you have it heated. So I heated it, I treated it, uh, uh, I seasoned it uh, three times over at 425 for uh, 425 degrees for an hour. So I'm going to go ahead and do the egg test. I'm going to fry a couple of eggs on this and see how how it works out. And now for the egg test, I'm going to fry a couple of eggs in here. See how that works out. Get egg number one. Egg number two. Now I'm going to use. They say you can use a metal spatula, so that's what I'm going to use on this. Oh, I normally fry my eggs with uh, bacon first or uh, sausage, but since I'm just doing a plain egg thing, I gotta gotta give it a little flavor here.
Add some Louisiana hot sauce. The big thing for me is Yeah, see that? Yeah. Okay, so far so good. Let it fry a little bit more. You know, the main thing is, I don't want that, that egg so already on my Teflon pan, which uh, is, uh, I've had for about five months, maybe a little even a little less, it, it was already sticking pretty bad underneath. See that? Look, nice and that's not bad. There we go. Boom. Yeah, see? That looks nice. Now the big moment of truth. Let's see how easily this cleans. I'm just going to use water. So far, even without brushing it, it seems to be working pretty good. But I'm going to take a little simple silicon, that's all this is, just a silicon uh, pad here, it's for a non-stick actually, Let's see how well it works. And that's it. Um, oh, here, just a little bit of snow left. There we go. Yeah, that, that worked out good. And then you want to uh, you want to dry it completely. You don't want to leave. You don't want to leave uh, water sitting in this. So after you clean it, immediately dry it. And that's it. So this worked out good. I'm going to go ahead and season my other pans. One thing you will, by the way, one thing you might want to consider, you might want to consider sanding the bottom here, get some of this roughness out, and I might do that in the future, because that'll make it even smoother. But for now, this is good.